Hello and welcome to another Benefit of the Dowd Review. I am your host, Adam Dowd, and joining me as always is, and the source of this review is Clifton Thomas. Cliff, how are you doing this evening? Sorry, what? I couldn't hear you. I had these true wireless earbuds and jamming to some some music so i guess i should take those out if we're doing a yeah yeah that would be helpful in review of them huh yeah a little bit a little bit mm. so um uh, so cliff uh is the, the not the not the founder but the finder <laughs> of the moon uh the moon drop space shoot i knew the name right before <laughs> The so moon drop space travel. Space travel. Space travel. I'm sorry, I'm not wearing my glasses. If I was wearing my glasses, it's right there. So the moon drop space travel true wireless earbuds. And these showed up out of the blue on my door, as uh, cliff findings tend to do. That's uh, right. And um I'm just like, okay, good. Another pair of true wireless earbuds. Like I need that, like a hole in the head. <laughs> but he said, he said, you know, hey, I found these, and you know what? They're pretty good. And I'm just like, oh, come on. How could they, could they be? You know what? They're actually pretty good. <laughs> they, are. they are. They are actually they are actually quite good. Now, I think um, what's... Before we even get too far into this, I think we need to bring up Skippy the Review Cam because there yeah. are some there are some definitely aesthetic uh, things. Well, I, I guess I can give you a little background here, sir, right? I, I'll hold yeah. mine up as well. These actually, they come in two. Let's see if I can get it to focus here. Oh, this should turn them around. Kind of hard, you know. I've got I've got pictures of them besides this, but uh, yeah. so yeah, these are these are from a company that is known for uh, mostly making like like affordable uh, in your uh, in your monitors, IEM. So uh, mm-hmm. for more like an audiophile company, but like approachable. And in that yeah, same right. respect, and they usually have kind of interesting designs, kind of like what you see here. And yeah. so these are affordable. In uh, true wireless earbuds from Moondrop, which is a company based out of Shenzhen, China, but the company itself, in terms of like their marketing, we'll talk about some of the other things. Is very much like uh, it's got like an anime, like kind of crazy thing going on. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. and these, I mean, I, I saw them on Amazon. I thought those look really interesting, and so I started doing. I mean, I was familiar with the Moondrop name. I didn't even know they made true wireless earbuds, and I thought those just look crazy i mean i've never seen any kind of uh charging case that looks like this and it yeah. turns out to go a lot further which you can show here compared to pretty much anything else i've ever seen I've yeah never totally seen. totally so like this is the charging case and you know you can see there's a translucent element here mine is like kind of a black with an orange and cliffs i believe is like a white and a clear type of yeah, uh and clear aesthetic. like orange so that orange accents are like for the um, for the writing yeah But I mean, and if you look like from the top, you can see there's no cover here. These are the earbuds right here. They don't come out. You know, I can turn this upside down and try to shake it and they're not coming out. But if you if you uh, touch the the part of the ear, the headphones here and here in the slot, you could just slide them out like that. Right. And then that that's how you take them out. And when you put them back in, you just slide them back in and they click in uh, magnetically speaking mm-hmm. as, and you know, a lot of, a lot of true wireless headphones do that, but um, it's just the way that these work with like this kind of open design, I guess, if you want to call it that um, it's just, it's just, it's really unique. And so like, that was, that was like the first thing that jumped out at me is like, wow, this is, um, this is interesting. <laughs> um, <laughs> There's a lot of interesting things about these. I mean, I, just right. to, real quickly with these. I mean, I, I love the design. You can see your charging light is on in there and the front mm-hmm. indicating that they are charging. But yeah. I mean, I, I don't know how practical the, the the open thing is if you carry around the charging case in your pocket and like lint gets in there. It's not to say that you mm. couldn't get it out. It might be a m- minor inconvenience, you know, if you have to still. Clear- I think this is definitely a clear example of fun, uh, of form over function. In yes, this yes absolutely. Which, I mean, but, some people are into that. You know, that's like cool. Like you were saying, though, that they don't come out. Like, I'm I'm shaking mine here upside right. down. And they are not right. coming out. So, in yeah, that respect, totally. I, I don't worry about it. And what's interesting is when you take them out, I mean, they really, the look of the earbud itself. Let me see if I can hold it here. But, I mean, it's, it's pretty... kind of your standard 
uh, well, not not quite standard, but it does, they don't look so different when you're actually wearing them. They just it's more like right. the stem is more rectangular, I guess, than like a, an AirPod, for example. But yeah. it's not like they're crazy looking in your ears. It just has it has a. I would say that the charging case is, is a conversation piece. Yeah, yeah, I would I would definitely um, definitely argue that they fit nicely. Yeah. Um, so you know they come with. Uh, how many ear tips did they come There's with? Three, three additional and 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 three in additional ones? to what it comes with. Yes. So I've got the uh, other part of the box here mm -hmm. that I never bothered to open. I'm gonna laugh, <laughs> but you. there we go. Yeah, so it right. comes with the charging cable <clears throat> and then the, yep. the the tips. The charging, the charging cable is really short. That's one thing. Well, I mean, that's and, actually pretty common. And the but. ear tips just in a sealed plastic bag, like no. Like, you know, because like sometimes they'll get the display thing where it like has, you know, right. little cardboard right. things. that'll show. No, they're just in a bag. That's fine. Um, and then, yeah, the charging cable, which is USB-C, you know, USB-A to USB-C. All pretty nice. standard. Yeah. And, yeah, then, yeah. and then maybe on like the, the in another like design thing. I don't know if this is really a problem, but unlike some most actually true wireless earbuds that charge via USB-C, the charging port is on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Versus like being on the back, I don't. I don't think that's necessarily a problem, but they don't no. sit upright when you're when you're charging them. So right, um, and uh, no wireless charging, but they right. do have active noise cancellation, which mm -hmm. is a fun surprise. I mean, we're going to talk right. about the price uh, towards the end here, right. but uh, considering what they're bringing to the table, uh, the fact that they have active noise cancellation is actually pretty impressive. It's like a, it's like the icing on the cake. It really, it really is. Um, and so like some other just real quick specifications, uh, Bluetooth 5.3, uh, they support uh, HSP, SBC, AAC, uh, US, um, uh, uh, they have a USB C port. Yeah, you know, we talked about that. Bluetooth, uh, Bluetooth uh, at your three charging time says one hour. Charging time of the case is about 1.5 hours. I haven't been using these long enough to wear them down yet, so I don't know right. if you have clip. I mean, these just showed up earlier in the week. Well, um, so the, so, so. the thing I think the things to take away from that basically with the specs <clears> are <throat> unless you're like a super audio nerd, and then I mean, you real we could get into like you know what the they Moondrop talks about some of the materials that like the, the, the drivers are, are made of and things like that. I just yeah. care more about the experience to be honest. I don't really, I mean, it's, sure. It's nothing that, but uh, I believe they say two hours for the earbuds as far as battery life. And then four uh, total with the charging case. I've got so, four and 12 actually. Oh, four and 12. Sorry. You're right. Four and, four and 12. 12. I got that. Like, I was reverse. Say, two hours. That's pretty short. So, yeah, um, four hours, fact, and four hours is actually pretty short by today's standards. Um, but yeah, so four and twelve, um, and considering the size of the earbud case, that's I would say and on the disappointing side. Um, super you lightweight though. Have, I mean, yeah, it is lightweight, but I don't know. With the given the size of the charging case, um, you would think there would be uh, you would think there would be more there. Considering like I've got my AirPods Pro two here, um, charging case which is thinner size, and yeah. and shorter, like. You know, um, but these will give. I don't. I don't remember off the top of my head, but I want to say twenty four hours at least with the case. Yeah. Probably yeah. even more than that. I don't. I don't know the. Air, I. I never listen to earbuds long enough to kill them, um, because I listen to stuff for short periods in the car. Actually, Cliff and I were talking about this mm -hmm. um, off the air. I don't use earbuds at my desk. I always use over ear headphones, um, mainly just because that's what's here. Like mm. earbuds to me are an on the go item. Um, whereas over ear headphones are, I'm sitting in one place for multiple hours type situation. Yeah. For so, me, for yeah. me, true. I, you know, I, I'm not in a car that much anymore. To, to me, it's more of like what I throw into my pocket when I'm going somewhere, if I'm going on an airplane yeah. or if I'm riding yeah. with somebody or, I mean, it, it honestly depends. I mean, I have some pretty expensive true wireless earbuds that, that just sound amazing. <clears> so, you know, for, and we'll talk about the sound in a bit, but yeah. So yeah. I would say, yeah, the the one like honestly, if there is like where these could be better is is in the battery life. I think that's yeah. in the, the the and, well, and I, like like you said, there's I have one other question. area that they could be better, which we are going to talk about in just uh, actually we could talk about it right now if you want. Yeah, but, yeah, that's fine. Um, so so here's the thing, like uh, <laughs> mo not all manufacturers of true wireless earbuds actually have an app available right right uh 
and then you're thinking, oh, that's that's a great thing because like, these do have a companion app. But let's let's oh, uh, as Adam goes into the app itself. Um, so there is one that is available for iOS for Apple products in the Apple Store, mm -hmm. uh, and but... then there is not one available. <laughs> in the google play store however if you go to their website there is an android app that you can sideload if that's something side that you're load. comfortable with i so, did I mean, that that's that's already your for your first red flag there is is the fact that you have to sideload the android app. and i don't think it's a red flag but it's it's definitely a let a suboptimal um yeah position let's just call it that so now actually i mean the app itself is kind of nicely you know well designed you've got this actually nothing type font up here and you know you've got different uh, you know settings over there. You can download different wallpapers. Mm -hmm. um, but if you just type a tap on the device itself, that'll take you in. And um, what you you can do just a couple of different things here. First of all, there's an EQ setting, and you have three different set of presets. You can't do any custom sets; it's just presets. Um, for they've got reference, base head, and monitor. So it's basically like three different levels of base is yeah, what it, right. what it amounts to. And then I just kept um, mine on reference. Honestly, I I, I felt like out of the sure. three, that was was sure. definitely the one that suits my listening style, the kind of music that I like better. So yeah. And then if you go to the touchpad, you can um, lots you of customizability can, uh, here. You can you can customize the touchpad, but there's one little caveat to that. <laughs> um, so you can see here if you single click on either side, you can pause and play. And if you pre if you want to go to the previous track, you double click on the left side. And for the next track, you double click on the right side. Here's the thing. Let's say I want to change one of those options. <laughs> Hello, Chinese. <laughs> so you go to change the option, and the menu that you get is in Chinese. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose this first option, which I know is single click, um, because I've, I've memorized it at this point. So if you confirm, it says single click in English, you know, in, the, in back right. in the app, which is nice. But if you want to switch it back, it's back into Chinese. So <laughs> yeah, it's, sub it's optional. A and actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, I have no idea if this is Chinese or Japanese. It could be either one. I I, I, I assume it's I Chinese because they're they're a Chinese company. It's just uh, but Probably. you know I could I could be wrong, but yeah, yeah. I, I mean the 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 way to say this is that even when it's in the app store, it is not localized really well for the Western market. If you want to change those options, now I the other side right. of that is not necessarily with the with the localization, but the fact that I mean. You do have quite a few options to customize uh, the controls, which I mean, some... I think you do. <laughs> right? I, I mean, I can't read them, but um, but yeah, it seems like you do. It seems like you could make either side adjust, you know, anything you want. Although mm -hmm. um, the so the sides are locked. Um, so pause and play is locked to any side. Previous is locked to the left side. Next is locked to the right side. So like it's not as customizable as some, but it's pretty darn customizable. Most of these say either side, um, and you can like triple right. click to start the voice assist and triple click to um, enable echo noise, which we're going to talk about that in a second mm -hmm. too. Um, enable active noise cancellation is to long press three seconds on either side. Um, so like, um, so yeah, there's that now, I don't know where you were about to go, Cliff. Well, I was, I was just going to say, I, I, it is nice to have the app. I would say that these are perfectly usable out of the box without ever actually connecting them to the app. I think. Sure. Sure. Um, absolutely. I would agree. Other than you would just have to try to figure out what, what, you know, what, what the, the different links and, and, and how to figure out all the tapping and holding and all, everything for the yeah. functions or just, I mean, or I actually, I guess fairly... you could just read the man. You could just read the manual. Yeah, it's that's fairly true. intuitive, I think. Yeah. Like, there's nothing there that's like completely crazy. But right. um, then there's the active noise cancellation, which is is, is okay. I mean, it's mm -hmm. not amazing active noise cancellation, but the, the really delightful part. And most headphones, when you enable or disable active noise cancellation, will give you some type of audio prompt. Maybe mm -hmm. it'll say transparency mode. Maybe it'll say, you know, like a ding or something like that. No, um, these earbuds um, have a 
what I can only guess is a very tiny Japanese woman speaking into a microphone, <laughs> speaking, as far as I can tell, Japanese, um, because the audio prompts that you get are ha and she, I believe. Mm. Um, so like when you or when you turn on transparency mode, it'll say ha! like I can't even get as high as <laughs> except as, it's as except it's does. much quieter. It's very it's just much, it, I mean it, it truly is like the stereotypical anime scroll girl. It's like <laughs> Yeah, exactly, exactly like that. Mm -hmm. But uh and then when you when you turn um A and C back on, it says she and like <laughs> I, what do those mean? I don't know. I don't know. Um, but it's just it's 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 delightful, really. Yeah, uh, it really is. It's you know, it could be just a normal like transparent team. Uh, that's boring. You know, they, they gave some personality to their stuff. And if you look on Moondrop Moondrop's website, which is actually MoondropLab.com, you know, if you go to their about section, they're all about, you know, this anime type. They have anime characters mm -hmm. on their product boxes. Like, you know, this is part of their brand. So I right. really, it, I respect that. But I also find it hilarious. Yeah. And he talked about the backgrounds that you can download in the app. It's all of this character. I forget what the character, but it's it's a character that they, this, this is supposed to be the voice of too, those prompts. Mm -hmm. And it's, and in fact, uh, I'll just show you real quick. I'm going to, I'm going to. Uh, put the show on stream if you want to hide Skibby for a second. Actually, I can. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, you can do it. Boop. So this is the packaging, which you can see again, really interesting. Mm -hmm. The fact that it displays it on front there and, and, and I, I guess I could, well, it's going to be too hard to zoom in, but I'm going to have to switch to my other Photoshop <laughs> tab so you can see the packaging on the back. And on the, there on is the, the character right there that also yeah. shows you the specs. So mm -hmm. they definitely have, like it's, I mean, it is themed. It, it it's very much is. Yeah. 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 So, all right. So let's go they're back fun. Get... And I mean, and, and I think we haven't talked about the best part, which is the price uh, that you can get these on Amazon. There will be a link in the show notes. But mm -hmm. the last time I checked, it was they're... like $25, right? $24.99. Yes. $24.99. Yeah. So, I mean, and that's, that's not are... discounted. That's the actual like price for the manufacturer. If you go to their website, they're $24.99. So, yeah, which is like considering the value, and we haven't actually really talked about how much they sound. They right, sound good. Right. They, they sound, sound really good. Um, they I, they I will, have really. I will I will talk about that real quick. Just please, really yeah, great. you're more of the yeah. Well, really great soundstage. Like it's broad. Um, mm -hmm. not a lot of um, like the the highs aren't 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 too sibilant. Like it's it all feels very much like if I go and listen to like live music, especially that's kind of how I see how balanced things are and how much is like in the mix it very much mm -hmm. all feels like it's in the mix and the like the way the music i think is more intended to sound um sure looking at the background of the company they are based on the uh harman uh sound model which mm -hmm. is not like a flat response but it's it's got a little bit of punch in the bass a little punch in the mid and then like there's a slight drop off with the highs, which I actually kind of prefer. Yeah, I, yeah. Otherwise, it gets too shrill. Right, exactly. That sibilance is what. I, so, I mean, honestly, I have I have tested uh, true wireless earbuds that cost probably six times as much as these that don't sound as good. Okay, yeah. And then, but also, you know, the difference would be they have probably have like better active noise cancellation. Might offer wireless they're gonna have charging. Better ANC, they're going to have wireless charging. They're probably going to be more resistant to the elements. I don't remember seeing they're any type of like IP, IP rating. IP68, really? Hold that on. is a bold claim. <laughs> Considering you have an open top. Um, I might be. I might be that. What is the water resistant? I, I might be thinking of something. Water resistance. Boom, drop. I don't know. I don't see anything on their spec page, to be honest. I, I um, could be wrong about that, actually. Moon drop. These are the space travel. Yeah, and I'm looking at the... Uh, IP68. Uh, oh, no waterproof rating. Okay. Never no mind. waterproof rating. You know what I was I'm thinking of is, is something else that I'm wearing, um, which we'll be reviewing at some point. That's IP68. It just happened okay. in my brain at the time. But, gotcha. you gotcha. know, I, I, yeah, I would not think that these are going to be the best for working out. Um, I probably... No. Don't think I'd have any problem with like walking in the rain with them or something like that. I think they'd be fine for that. Yeah, yeah. Just 
overall though they sound really good um yeah. but, you know, they sound really good like not amazing you know we're not talking sony we're not talking panasonic no. but they sound really good especially for a 25 dollar set of buds so i mean like they're 25 dollars for god's sakes just just go buy them and if you hate them i right. don't know i mean that's the thing it, it only costs you 25 dollars to find out name <laughs> name another because because honestly here's the thing uh, I think that these are maybe other than like the water resistance, these have so much more personality than like AirPods. And and yeah. you can buy four pairs of these, if not more. Because I think AirPods now are 129, aren't they? Uh AirPods. So like the regular AirPods, I want to say, are still a hundred, but the AirPod Pros are like 180. Right. At this okay. Point. So you could basically buy these for your whole family <laughs> for what the cost of just regular AirPods cost. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you'd get and I, you get at, at least, I would say, 85% of the sound experience. I, I think these sound better than, not AirPods Pro, but regular AirPods. I think oh, these well, sound better. Yeah, better than AirPods. Everything's yeah. better than AirPods. But my daughter is driving me nuts because she really wants a set of regular, regular AirPods, not AirPods <laughs> Pro. And I'm just I like, mean, sweetheart, please. Another way to think about this, I think if you buy, uh, uh, I forget what Apple calls their um, wired uh, pods. But earpods, uh, earpods, right? Earpods, there we go. It, this, these mm -hmm. cost the same amount as earpods. Mm -hmm. Why would you not get these instead? Right, exactly. And so then that's what we're saying is you should just go get them. Um, yes. but uh, but yeah, and I want to thank uh, you know, Cliff for finding these. These were these were a pretty solid find, and um, that was uh, this was a fun little review from your friends at Benefit of the Dow. So that's going to do it. For this episode of the podcast uh, slash review of the YouTube channel, whatever, it's an old script, get over it. Please consider subscribing to this uh, podcast if you enjoyed it. And if you really enjoyed it, hit that subscribe button, smash that bell, like, comment down below. Are you going to get a pair of these? Did you get a pair of these? Do you love them? And if so, how much? Um, and also be sure to, uh, uh, if you want to get some early access, jump on the Patreon at patreon.com slash benefit of the doubt. I would like to thank co-producer Cliff for all of his hard work behind the scenes, including finding these earpods for us to talk about or these earbuds to talk about. But most of all, and as always, I would like to thank you for listening and for giving us the benefit of the doubt.